All right, so the next barrier I want to tackle is the shadow barrier because I need the golden gauntlets to do the rest of them. So I'm just going to work my way around the room. That's the entrance because I would just finish this uh, spirit barrier. That's forest. I got to stay close to the wall here. That's water. Almost. All right, this should be the shadow. I don't know because the bubble is there. All right, so I asked for help from one of my fans, um, Hem TV, and he actually gave me a physical description of the room, and that actually tended to be a great help. So. Um, I'm just gonna go through here. First thing I need is my hover boots and fire arrows. Alright, so I know the torch is over to the right, and that bubble actually helps out a lot, because I know it's, he's gonna be off my forward left, and I basically just want to try not to waste too much magic here. Alright, so for this part, I'm gonna get ready here. I have to move very quickly to make it all the way to the platform before the time runs out. So I'm holding controller left hand and save stat in right hand. And I basically just use the bubble to try to aim myself. I want to go slightly to the right of him. Make it to the like like plat- oh, I was too far to left. Too far to the right. Okay. Like likes platform, save while I'm running. And oh ah. Alright, this should be the platform I have to aim for, so now I don't have to hit that torch again. So I want to take my hover boots off. I also got my hammer out as well. So safe state definitely. Okay, so I want to orientate, orient myself to this plat new platform. So I want to back up until I fall off. Get up. Okay, that should be facing straight ahead. Now I know the platform I have, the path I have to follow is this way. So if I head straight this way. Okay. So now I'm on a plat, um, a, a, a path here. And what I want to do is I have to get down and ha hit the switch with my hammer. But I want to call the I'm going to call this my hammer cane. I want to swing until I hear it hit a platform. Hopefully, I'm near the switch here. There we go. All right, so now I just want to make it back to that main platform. The bubble's off to my forward left, so I know I want to start heading this way, not jump off that way. Walk a few steps. Stop. Walk a couple more steps. Oh, okay. Oh, no. Stop that. Okay. So now that I made it back onto the main platform... Okay, now I'm back on the main platform. So what I want to do is, the bubble's on my left now, I want to hang this way, figure out which way I'm hanging here, alright, back up this way, now that area right there, I know my footsteps sounded different because that is where the chest is going to appear, so I know I'm I would oriented the right way, I want to hang from here one more time, turn right, and now there's a platform to my right and uh, forward, right, and down that it switches on that I have to jump down to. So, let's try to get over there. Just like that. Alright. So now, the reason I didn't kill that bubble earlier is because I need his help. 
who thought he'd be helpful. So I need my hook shot. So I'm turning around, so I'm basically facing back towards where the enemies are, and I want him a little on my left, left and forward. If I know if I shoot straight ahead, that's basically the platform I was standing on. Now if I go above that, I hit nothing. So I know the chest is right in this area, right around here. There we go. Okay, so now to get into the chest, I need to orient myself again. So, fall backwards. Save. Jump left. So I'm left of the chest. Walk forward a bit. Turn right. And I got the golden gauntlets. Alright, so it's facing me away from the platform now. So I want to turn this way. Fall off this ledge yet again. Turn right. Now I'm going to re-equip my hover boots. And now, this is just a part where I just have to try to make it through the S platform and try to get to the exit door. So I just kind of try to go for it. to go more left. Oh, it caught a piece. Okay, stop. Ah. Okay, I'm safe right here. Next thing I should hear is I should grab some hearts that are hovering over the middle part of this curve here. There's two of them. Okay, I'm safe right here. Then I need to start curving back to the right. Stop. Okay, I'm safe again. And right to the door. Come on. Through the door. Come on, through the door. All right. Okay, this barrier I can just walk up and touch again. Okay, light arrows. Again, just pull up a little bit. And there's the shadow barrier. Okay, so before I tackle the next two barriers, I want to go back outside. That's water. Little corner there. That's forest, I believe. Okay, this should be the entrance. Right, run past the demos. 
head back outside. Okay. So... Well, apparently it's not a straight shot. Let's try this. Alright, made it back onto land. So, what I want to do is head over to the left side of this area, I believe. And there should be a big giant pillar that I can grab. Alright, I finally found the bi right big thing that I had to throw. So now I just want to try to make it into the area that was opened. There we go. Last great fairy. So I think I still have my ocarina equipped. Yep. It's still creepy. <laughs> Alright, with that power, now I can go attack the rest of the barriers. Okay, well it's been a while since I've done any recordings, but I'm ready to tackle the rest of the barriers. Just got the golden gauntlet. So all I have left is the fire and light barriers. So I gotta get over to the fire one. Just follow the wall around this way. That's the spirit one. There's no carpet in front of the light one because there's the, the big thing in the way, which I think that's I'm trying to go around it right now. Just keep following my wall. Should be close now. And this should be the fire one once I can get in the door. In the door, Link. Okay, so I had a friend, my fan Matt, actually give me a walkthrough of this room so I can memorize most of its layout, but I need to do most of it in my hover boots. This will give me more time on that center platform so I don't keep falling down. Because it sinks when you get on it with regular boots. So I'm going to go forward. One, two, three, four. About there. And I try to keep the 90 degrees. It's very important in this room. So over here to get the first rupee. Turn around. Jump back. Okay. Now the hardest one is the next one. Is the one over by the, the fire pillar. I go so far this way turn and now the fire pillar I should hear in front of me and slightly off to my left so I think I'm okay I think I'm actually a little too far to the right let's see if I can get over there yeah I'm too far to the right so let me backtrack this way a little bit okay now I'm onto the platform I gotta get behind here oh come on nope Okay, now I gotta make it back. I hear the slug. I gotta. I wanna walk towards the slug. That way. Okay, I made it onto a platform. Ah! And I saved right at the wrong point. Alright, so I'll redo this and then we'll meet back at the pillar where I got that rupee. Okay, now I'm back to a safe spot. I got the second rupee again. I lost a lot more energy on that attempt though. So I want to jump back to that platform though for specific, specific reason. Not that one. 
Okay, so I want to jump back onto this platform. Turn around. And that should get me about my 90 degrees back that I need to do this room. So now I want to come back over to here. Without doing that. Stop right here. That's what I don't like about the hover boots. You kind of skid around, so I fall off a lot. So now I want to go so far this way. Now I'm aiming for the third rupee, which is under the giant obelisk thingy. And I want to approach it by getting onto a sinking block that's actually further this way, I think. That's it. Turn left. And get up on... Nope, missed it. Nope, I gotta go further, right? Let's try here. Gotta get onto the sinking block. Turn left. I'm trying to grab the ledge. Maybe my 90 degrees is messed up. Let's try this. And just head towards the fire. There we go. Okay, now I got on my ledge. That squared me up. Alright, so I got my 90 degrees back, so I can come up here, do my strongman competition. Throw it away. Okay, now I can grab the third rupee. Okay, now I gotta get over to the platform that the slug is on. So I'm gonna go this way. Land. Turn left. Go this way a bit. Oh, I don't want to be on this block. Ah, gosh. Okay. So I got back here. And I want to basically line up with it so I go across. Over. On the platform. Take care of this guy. Okay, somewhere around here there's a rupee. Probably gonna die a couple times trying to get it. Uh, that helps. But I want the rupee. No! Okay. And I didn't die. Okay, so now I want to use my viewer. I want to hang change the fire. Get it off to my right shoulder. So I'm basically facing back towards the entrance. I want to go to... I need to go a little more left, I think. This platform to this block. And get the rupee before the block sinks. Yeah, it's not going to happen. Platform. All right. Now what I'm going to do is just let myself die. Reason being, I got all the rupees and the door actually still remains open. So now I got to get back. One, two, three, four-ish. One, two, three, four-ish. Go around this platform. And float over to here. Okay, now I want to turn left. Because I'm going to be on this leg of the platform. Turn right. Go as far as I can this way. Oops, I almost made a save there. Okay, now I need my hook shot. Or long shot. Now, I should be near the right position to hit the target that's way over there. I know if I aim down, it gets closer right there, and that's the platform I'm trying to aim for. So I want to try to go a little above that and try to get so I can hear where it's furthest away like that. And of course, just try to find the target. It's not very high above there. All right, now I want to take my hover boots off. All right, now I've got to figure out which way I'm facing here. Oops.
All right. Now for this one, I just stand still and get my light arrows. And that is the fire barrier. All right, I only have one more barrier to tackle, the light barrier, which in some ways is the easiest one and in another way is the hardest one. So first thing I need to do is destroy this obelisk thingy. So I'm gonna line up here, jump two this way, and one this way. So that should be about right. There we go. Alright, there we go. Now that kind of lined me up weird, so I'm going to use this. Get the barrier sound behind me. And there's the door. Alright, I need my long shot. Okay, now I just need to destroy all the enemies in this room. By moving around as little as possible. Ow. Dark. I totally messed that up. Come here. There. Uh, and last one. Okay. Now the chest is going to appear with the key in it. Hopefully I didn't move around too much that I'll miss the chest. Oh, come on. Is that it? Ow! Nope, that's not it. There we go, got the right key. Now that I've gotten turned around and everything, I gotta try to find the door to the next area. Oops. Nah, I'll take a heart. Okay. There's gotta be a door around here somewhere. Okay, next area. This one's simple. One, two. Oh, maybe I was wrong. How about one more? There we go. I don't know why they put this room here, it just seems kind of pointless. And I think my chest showed up just to my right. Maybe not. Such a little space, I can't get too lost finding the chest. There we go. All right, though, the first two parts were the easy part. The last part I can do, but it's a little more difficult. And you probably know why. As soon as I can find the door again. Okay, two save states. Now, I usually hate rocks, but for some reason with these rocks, I can tell when they're going by. Ow. So, like, if I stand here, that one's passing by. That one's passing by. I think it's because they're going in a rhythmic pattern instead of just all over the place. So I'm gonna, oops, start over. And, oh, walk too soon. Now. I wanna get that first one without getting hit. Cause then the rocks go in opposite directions and it's just a pain to deal with. 
This is the hardest one to get. I want to get around and go to the inside one again. I don't want to waste too much time though. Oh gosh, that was completely the wrong time. Three. I don't think I've ever gotten that one that quickly. Oh, I don't want to save there though. Three. Now, I don't forget really if I get hit on the fourth one because I'll be kind of out of the way of the rocks anyway. I just gotta get it. Try again. Okay, that's four. Now I want to turn around and try to hit the hook shot target on the ceiling. Not too high. Should be right there. That's number five. Try not to get hit by the rocks going through the door. Fake wall. And if I stand right here and get my light arrows. I should be aimed already. Just aim a little bit up. Missed. There we go. And the final barrier is done. Now the barrier is destroyed. Now I've got to get myself up to the path that leads into the tower, so I need to do that. I need to go back into the main area. That's the spirit barrier. Here's the entrance. I want to find the door. The door link. There you go. Come in, King, quickly. Walk straight forward. And make my way into Ganon's Tower. <laughs> 